<laughs> All right, so, man, it was a great year. Um, you know, I'm very excited about our program and uh, what we've accomplished so far and what we're going to accomplish. Uh, very proud of our players, um, you know, to make the playoff for the first time, win a playoff game for the first time, have nine Division One wins. Um, it's just exciting, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, we got to – Go back to work now. Um, you know, it's a tough day Saturday, but in a lot of ways it's good. You go up there and, you know, you see, hey, if we want to be a team that competes for national championships, this is where we got to grow, you know. So every every experience is a learning experience. Um, I didn't think we played well. I thought we the moment was maybe a little big for some of us. At the same time, it'll, it'll, it'll be something we can learn from. Um, you know, but the season as a whole, to I thought we started off a little rocky at four and three, and then just to, to finish the way we did, tremendous job. Everybody just sticking with the game plan and continue to believe in what's going on. And we've got a bunch of great kids, and you know, a bunch of great kids played their last game with us, which is you know we appreciate what they've done, how they bought in, and uh, what they've given to Mercer University, and um, you know, so a lot of things to be thankful for, uh, a lot of. Uh, you know, excitement for the future. Because uh, every time you win uh, and you get in front of people and all that, it makes recruiting easier. It, make, it makes a lot of things. People, people, we got people's attention right now. So we're excited about continuing to build the program and bringing more folks in here. Uh, let me mention how excited we are for Joel Taylor, you know, to have this opportunity to be a head coach at West Georgia. You know, that, that is well-deserved. Um, you know, and those those opportunities are hard to get. It's not easy to get a head job. And uh, he's, he's earned that. And uh, so we're excited for him and Coach Mike Adams going with him over there. Um, you know, those guys are, have been close and been together for a while. And so we're excited about their, their opportunity, very proud of them. Um, you know, so what's getting ready to happen? Yeah, I'm going to, uh, you know, <laughs> full speed. Um, you know, there's going to be – today's world, especially with the transfer portal, and that kind of opened up today. And then you start, you know, the rat race there about who might be a fit for you, who can help your program. We'll have some kids that are interested in us. Um, I'm sure we'll have a handful go in, uh, you know. But that's just kind of the world right now. So we're we're we believe in our program. We believe in what we're doing. We believe we'll continue to get quality people in here and grow the program. And obviously, I got to hire a few coaches, um, you know. So, uh, um, but I, I think I can go ahead and say we'll be we'll be promoting from within on our defensive staff. They've done an unbelievable job with. You know, David Cole and Jimmy Long kind of, you know, leading that and being co-coordinators, that's, that's what we're going to do. I think they've earned that opportunity. I'm excited about them having that opportunity. You know, so I'll need to hire a few other position coaches um, there. Um, so a uh, lot to do. Uh, it's really about people and getting the right people in here, whether it's coaches, players. Um, and right now I feel like in our building we got the right – we got a lot of the right people. Um, you know, and when you're – when you do a good, you know, you hope that you, you do such a great job and you win enough games, you know, to where you're, co you're going to lose coaches. You know, they're going to get other opportunities because they're doing such a great job. So, so when people are getting, you know, getting opportunities to, to, to be promoted and move up, man, that just means you're doing the right things, you know. So we'll hire folks that I think are going to be just like that and continue to hire great people and bring in great kids and, um, so that, that's what we're going to be up to. But I, I'm very appreciative of the investment that people make in our program, our president, our athletic director, all our leadership. Um, once again, it takes a university to win in football, and right now our university is committed to doing that. And, uh, you know, bottom line is I'm motivated to beat South, Carolina, or South, South Dakota State. I'm motivated, okay? But to do that, we've got to improve, you know, and, and uh, so you're going to see us do those things to continue to compete uh, to, to have a chance to win a conference championship, to have a chance to be in the playoffs and play deeper um, and really build this thing into something special, which I really believe we can do. So we're blessed and to be here. Uh, we've been very fortunate, and we're going to continue to, to make this thing special. So questions for me. I don't want to dwell too much on Saturday, but for a program that, as you said, wants to be competing for FCS championships, were there things that you took note of there on Saturday just in terms of whether it be environment or how the team operates or whatever you noticed up there on Saturday that you said, yeah, I, I want to emulate a little bit of that. Well, they're the best team in the country. Mm -hmm. I think we saw that. Um, and it was live and in color. We got to see it, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I think – and I think even our administrator, you know, every, all our administrators went up there and everybody looks and everybody's asking questions and everybody's trying to pick up things, 
you know, to continue to improve. Obviously, they, uh, they got it going on, you know, and uh, outstanding staff, you know. It's, but every place is different. Every place has got its own challenges, too, you know. So they're the, they're the only show in town up there. That's a state school, and we realize, you know, they're, you know, we're, we're different, but at the same time, you can see they've, they've committed to, you know, facilities. They've committed to, I mean, just everything about it. They're, they're, there's a reason, and it took time to get there. It's not like they just all of a sudden did those things. So um, that was a process for them. You know, all those schools up there, North Dakota, South Dakota, North Dakota State, South Dakota State, were all Division II 20 years ago. You know, and, and so they, they came up. They've all built something. Uh, you can see that in the playoffs. Um, you know, but it was very impressive watching them. And certainly you, you, the challenge you have now is – because the biggest difference up there, I think, was uh, in the trenches. You know, their offensive line was impressive, you know. Uh, and their defensive, defensive front was – I mean, th those are things that, you know, that, that is the difference right now, you know, in that area of the country. Um, and we got to close the gap in some of those areas so that we can give – because I think it, skill guys will, will be able to, you know, have an advantage there. So if we can get, continue to get better up front, um, that's where we've got to close the gap so we can give ourselves a chance to, to, to win those games. And that's what we're going we're gonna to try to do. What was your message to the guys after the game? Uh, I don't know. I think it was somebody – Video to put it on Twitter. Um, did you watch that? No, I didn't. Yeah, it, it was mainly, you know, handle yourself like a champion. Okay, and, and champions take responsibility. Champions work and get better. You know, champions uh, walk with their head, head held high with resolve. I mean, that's, you know, we got our butt kicked. You got to give credit where credit is due. I mean, we, we, we were never competitive in that game, um, but we're going to be. You know, and we got to continue to believe in those processes. And if you continue to work, because the kids have been rewarded, they've worked and 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 gotten to a certain place. But let's don't stop. Um, there's a lot of really good young players in there that that are going to be great players. You know, we need those kids to develop. And and it was good for them to go out there and see, hey, this is what we've got to become if we want to have a chance to compete for it all. You know, so uh, but I I was proud. I you know I was proud of those kids. There are a lot of seniors in there. They're giving us everything. You know, there were some tears. Um, you know, but it's all positive, you know, and we're going to be real about what we did. We didn't play well, um, but we also understand that, that we've come a long way and, and that we're going to continue to grow. And I wanted those guys to walk out of there excited about, you know, doing those things. Hurting, you know, needing a little rest, you know, needing to be able to decompress, but at the same time with a vision of, man, we're going to get there. Um, and that, that, was, that was primarily the message. Every season's different. I mean, we've been blessed. Um, but I believed when we came here, I wanted this job. Okay, this was coming home for me, and I believed that we could build a program that would be competitive and play in the playoffs and have a chance to win conference championships. Um, you know, so that's special to kind of break through on some of those things, especially for those kids that, you know, were probably playing college football for the last time and and, and it stuck with us. Um, that's what's exciting to me, and then thinking about continuing to, to build there. And I feel like, you know, our president wants to do that. He wants to beat South Dakota State. I feel like Jim Cole wants to beat South Dakota State. That's, if you don't have that, you know, you, you don't have a chance. So when leadership wants to do those things, um, that's exciting. And we want to build a program everybody can be proud of. And I think we're doing that. I think people appreciate uh, the improvement. Um, and we don't want to stop, I, I promise you. I'm motivated, okay? I'm motivated to, to get better and to have an opportunity to win in those games. Um, so uh, hopefully everybody else is as motivated as I am. That's, 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 that's what, I'm, what I'm looking for. Last thing for me, you mentioned recruiting. Um, what is the product that you guys can now sell to the guys that are winning at risk? Winning is your biggest recruiter, okay? It just, that's just a fact. You know, and, and getting our brand out there, people seeing us do those things, and um, and then that really kind of gets your foot in the door with some guys, and you got to get them here and let them see what we have and what our vision is for where we're going, and then it's relationship building. Um, you know, do they feel like we got a, something special going on here? Um, you know, so that that's really, you know, the success, getting your brand out there, maybe get your foot in the door with maybe a few guys you never could have got on campus before, and then it really becomes the hey. Do they come here and look and go, they want to win? 
you know, and they're going to help me win, and they're going to help me be the best I can be and develop me. And, um, you know, that's really what it is. And, and certainly in today's world, there's, there's other variables too. I mean, money's involved sometimes. I mean, you know, it's, there's NIL and there's other things when you're competing against some maybe bigger schools. But um, that's just part of it as well. I think we have a great product here. And, and uh, you know, I think it really boils down to pe people feeling like they got a chance to be successful. And I think they got a chance to be successful here. And I think that's very evident. I don't think we have to, we don't have to use car salesmen. In, okay, it's real. Um, you know, and, and uh, so we're going we're gonna to sell our product. We believe in our product, and we're going to sell it and sell a vision of where we're headed. Coach, let me reflect back on the success of this season. What character trait would you use to identify that allowed these guys to overcome obstacles and get to the postseason and the many things that they accomplished? How would you describe that? I think just belief. I, I do. I, I think the, that, that we had, as a staff, had created a lot of credibility with those guys. and. And there was a lot of expectation coming into the season, um, which I think can be overwhelming sometimes. And I think we were a little bit that way early on, and then we kind of hit the reset button and the kids finished, you know? So I think they just believed, you know, they kept believing what we were telling them. And as a staff, we kept, hey man, just keep playing, okay? Keep playing. I know we were sitting there four and three and nobody thought we'd make the playoffs, okay? Well, you know what? We did, because um, those kids kept playing. Um, you know, so uh, that's that to me is the main thing is just that being reemphasized. Man, when I keep going and keep working and keep playing, something good's going to happen, and that was demonstrated this fall. So that just helps that glue to dry. You know, of our culture is just keep playing. Coach, what are some of the games, plays, moments that stick out to you the most about this season? Um, you know, I think uh, that's a great question. I mean. I think back to, you know, when we were four and three and just, and Wofford was a tight game and, you know, Simon's Bear getting a, you know, a strip sack for a touchdown that helps us separate Lance. I mean, those are, those are huge things. And then you win the game and then, then you turn around the next week and you play Western and boom, you start off, you cause and turn. I mean, you know, those things, you know, that kids were making plays um, and confidence was building. Um, you know, so, uh, um, I thought the Sanford game sticks out. I mean, just getting over the hump there, you know. Uh, you know, I think about, you know, the first playoff win. I mean, that was a huge win. I, I, you know, I, those are things I, I think about. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't <laughs> – my brain's already, you know, I just it's, – it's what are we doing next? What are we doing next? But it's, it's good to kind of reflect a little bit. Um, but those are the things that when I, when I think back on it, that's that's – that's why I'll enjoy. And then in the locker room after the Sanford game, just the look on those kids' faces, knowing, hey, man, we, we took the next step. Uh, I, think it, I think that's, you know, the, you could see how much it meant to them. That, that's what matters to me is the, the guys having a great experience, you know, and, and growing through all those things.